Hi right, guys, welcome to how to choose a domain name for your website or blog. All right, let's get into it. Hopefully this will help you um, simplify the process of choosing your domain name. All right, let's get on with it. Minimize that. All right, so this post may contain affiliate links. Please read our disclosure for more info. All right, so how to choose a domain name that defines me and my business is a question you're probably asking yourself. Um, so you're probably thinking it's the most important thing for the success of your business. Um, wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. The, own, the one and only thing that will make your blog website successful are you. And specifically, the content that you produce will be the most important thing in the beginning. That's how you'll gather an audience. And then you'll work on um, connecting with that audience, building trust with them. And basically how you execute those three things will have the biggest impact on your blog not your domain name or even your business name, especially when it comes to just when you're starting an online business based off a website or blog. Um, even things like YouTube names and, you know, people with, on Instagram, you know, their names aren't anything awesome. They just, you know, like they build their brand um, based on how their audience responds to things. All right. So, yeah, so you shouldn't waste a whole lot of time trying to choose your domain name it's because, yeah, basically because it doesn't matter. That's going to be the overall, um, the overall thing here is that it doesn't really matter. So you just got to get on with it, choose a name and run with it. Uh, so here's a, here's a few things that we're going to cover in this article. So what is a domain name? Why and when your domain names matter? Domain extensions. How important is branding when it comes to a domain name? And finally, how to choose a domain name. All right, so what it is, is a domain name? A domain name is an online address, much like your street address. It's the name that stands in for your IP address. So it would otherwise be a um, combination of numbers and characters. So, yeah, that basically, if it was just the numbers and characters, it would be really hard to remember, just the same way as if street names were that, like that. So it's the same idea. It's just an easy way to remember and um, store them, I guess. So yeah, a creative and memorable name can play an important part in your business, um, specifically to make it more memorable for people. So if they're going to type it directly into a search bar, if it's something memorable, then it helps, but that depends on how, um, people are interacting with the content, obviously. So for example, if you're starting a blog about reviewing cars and your domain name was say Brody travels, for example, .com, um, that'd be a little bit confusing and maybe someone wouldn't remember it that way if they would go to directly search for you again. So, um, something like brodydrives.com, if you're going to do a car related blog or website, uh, would make more sense. And like I said before, it depends on how people interact with your content. So we'll get into that more here. So why and when domain names matter, domain names only really matter when you make it that way. So. Yeah, what I mean by that is if you go with a self-branded blog, um, no matter what niche you're in, uh, you're going to be better off, uh, especially to begin with and also later on, because if you do change the direction, then your domain name still makes sense to your overall brand. Um, so yeah, we'll go more into self-branding later on. Um, having a niche involved in your domain name also helps. So if you can't just get your actual full name or any variation of your name into the domain search and, and have it, um, you know, it's not taken already, then use a keyword related to your niche, like something broad, like obviously Brody drives can be pretty broad or Brody travels can be pretty broad. So. Yeah, like a, you know, like this example here, brodydrives.com, that can be a pretty broad um, niche depending on, or, you know, you know, it comes down to which direction you end up going in as time goes on. So this is what I was saying before, it depends how people interact on Pinterest or YouTube where you have upfront visual searching, um, something like brodytravels.com could totally relate to a number of things. So that's where that sort of doesn't matter. And like I said, um, it only matters if you make it matter or if you think it matters, um, you know, when you're trying to make your decision. Um, so, you know, having, having just a personal brand will, um, 
allow you to have a broader niche, which also gives you more options when it comes to your monetization plan. Um, we'll go into monetization in a whole nother post or article. Uh, so domain extensions. So domain extensions are just the, at the end of your domain name, which is the .com, you know, .com, but yeah. Um, so, you know, if, if you're a local service-based business, um, that's where you, that's where you'd want to worry about the company. I mean, not the company, the country code, but unless you're, if you're, if you're just doing online, then the company code, um, sorry, country code doesn't really matter. So if you, you, you just go for a .com, if you purely an online business, but if you are like providing a service in your local area, then .us, .uk, .au or wherever country you are would make sense. Otherwise, if, if you are planning on going online, just go with .com. Don't even worry about um, the country extension because that will confuse people and probably turn them off thinking that you're only providing a service from that area only. Um, so yeah, just a little tip there. Yeah, so since we're here at BrodyElliot.com, we teach about online business. Um, I'm sure the country extension thing won't be a consideration for most of you, but that is just a helpful little tip in case you were thinking of it. So obviously, .com is more popular and therefore the most trusted extension. So that's what we re recommend you go for. If, you, if your name, so we're talking about personal brands before. So if you go for your name, .com, and it's taken, but you insist on having that name, then you can just go with a .co or a .net. Um, or whatever it sounds good to you. There's a whole bunch of different um, extensions, but if you can't go to .com, I'd go with a .co or a .net. Um, but yeah, obviously, if you want to avoid any doubt in regards to trust, um, then just go for a different name with a .com. Like I said, you could put uh, some sort of keyword in with your name and just keep trying things out until you land on a .com, I think is the best idea. But so how important is branding? Branding overall is very important. When it comes to your domain name, this is where your brand will begin. So when you start producing content and you're gonna be having your your domain name or your, the name of your blog, it's generally gonna to relate to your domain name. Um, doesn't have to though. I mean, you can just have a you know a blog like mine where it's bradyelliot.com and you could be blogging about real estate and it really would not matter. Um, so that's just something to consider when you're considering branding. If you're, if you yourself are going to be the brand. So if you're going to be coaching or, um, anything like that, sort of like what I'm doing, then your, your name is going to be your brand. So that's something to consider depending on what niche you go into. Um, got some resources on finding a niche at the end of this, and I will link all that in the description. So yeah. So once again, guys, this comes down to your passion. Uh, to avoid any sort of negative direction, once again, we avoid going for a self-branded web title blog. So, for example, if you go too niche or specific with your domain name and you find your audience responding to a subtopic, so say if you are taking a, you know, if you are doing a car reviewing blog or a real estate blog or something, but so say you also blog about, you know, financing real estate or financing um, cars and you find people responding to the more finance side of things, then if your, you know, if your content becomes increasingly more about finance, um, then that will be a consideration as well with your domain name. But like I said, it, it doesn't matter. And also uh, if after a year, because your, your domain name, you have to renew it after a year, um, it's cheap as, so don't even worry about that. It's like, I don't know, $10, depending on your extension as well. Um, it's about $10 a year to renew your domain name, depending on what country you're in. Um, so, yeah, you can renew it and essentially rebrand. Um, but that also leads to some other problems like, um, you know, redirecting all your content. But that's, you know, that's not really going to be a consideration for most of you. Like I said, domain name doesn't really matter. You can just go with it no matter what you've got. Um yeah, so yeah, I've we'll, we'll just just covered basically all of that. All right, so um, yeah, so once again, guys, this is why we recommend going with the self branding. It makes your business more adaptable, gives you more options. So you don't have to worry about any of that or re renewing your domain name to something different if you just go self branded. Just another reason why it's a good idea, and that of course is 
um, our opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole domain name doesn't matter thing. I want to, I want to hear what you think. Um, but yeah, once again, guys, this is just a guide. Um, so don't let our opinion or anyone else's stop you from taking your path. If you've got an awesome domain name, just go for it and stick with it. All right, so how to choose a domain name. So this is going to break it down to some little steps for you to make it easy for you to simplify the whole process. All right, so step one, come up with some keywords or even some random words related to your niche. So I'm just going to use the whole car reviewing um, example for all this. So drives, driving, wheels, clutch, reviews, spinning, rolling, zooming. So, you know, you know what I mean? Just come up with words that sort of relate to cars or driving or anything like that. Write them all down. Step two, come up with some descriptive words like wild, awesome, resourceful, luxury, classic, modern, some, some, some sort of stuff that relates to um, the niche that you're thinking of. Step three, add your name into the mix. So my name, Brody, Brody is Elliot's my middle name. Um, yeah even use your initials you can you can get your initials in there somewhere um so and then just start throwing down some combinations so using a um, descriptive word like brody's rolling reviews.com brody drives.com brody e zooming so that's an, just an initial in between my name and a descriptive word clash roll drive.com Brody modern wheels.com. So you sort of get the idea. You just got to get creative and find something that isn't taken already, basically. And yeah, this is very important. Don't get sucked into paying thousands of dollars for a domain name. When you sign up with Bluehost, this is um, our link to the Bluehost sites affiliate link. So when you sign up with um, Bluehost, we get a little commission, which is awesome. Um, you get a free domain name with them. You do not have to pay a thousand dollars for a name unless you insist on it. But do not recommend it. It's really not worth paying. You know, you can get a, you get a domain name for free here. And even if you're going to pay for a domain name, it's only like $12. Um, so if you can't come up with names that are taken uh, when you search and they don't lead to a website. So, so if you come up with a name and, you know, you sort of can't believe that it's taken and you search it, you put in a search bar and search for it and it leads to a 404 not found page. That means someone's squatting on the domain name. So they haven't built a website for it. They've just paid for the domain name to hold it. And then what they do is they try and sell it to the highest bidder. Um, you know, so, so they might, you know, all right. So what have we got here? Yeah. All right, so yeah, so going back to Bluehost, when you sign up Bluehost, you get a free domain name. So I've just included this image. You can click this link and you can get through to Bluehost to their um, domain tool. They do have like a um, domain test one, but you only get three goes. So if you just click through to here, it takes you through the process of um, signing up, but you're not actually signing up. So what you what you do is you'll click on this, you'll go to choose a package, just click the basic package, and then you'll get through to this page. And then you can test as many times as you want um, domain names. Um, if you've already paid for a domain name, if you've got one, you can just enter it there and then go through and then sign up if that's what you want to do. Uh, so, yeah, I was getting off topic before, but what we've got is what is a domain squatter? So because domain names are cheap to buy, they range from $1.99 to $12.99. Um, that's just what I've seen. They might get even cheaper. Um, so what these domain trolls do, they'll buy up a heap of domain names for like $1,000. So they'll just spend $1,000 on a whole heap of random domain names that they think are cool. And then they'll sell them to the highest bidder. I don't exactly know where they sell them to people, but you know, I've I've read stories about this on the internet before, and I've heard people paying for like a thousand dollars for a domain name just just because of one of the name, which is sort of ridiculous. But you know, person either knew what they were doing or they were grossly misinformed. But um, don't be one of those people. You don't need to pay that much money for a domain name, especially when you get a free one with Bluehost. So. Like I said, you can click on click on this and basically, yeah, you go through the process of getting started, but you're not actually signing up for anything. If you go through this link, you can use their domain tool as many times as you want, the domain search tool, I mean. Uh, so how do I get a blog started? So with Bluehost, they are heavily integrated with WordPress, which is the number one blogging platform. So this is why we recommend Bluehost. Um, also, because they're an awesome host that can scale your website with influxes of traffic. So some some domains will just cut you off. 
say if you get a huge influx of traffic, your site will essentially shut down rather than scaling. So because what happens is is they'll charge you more once you start getting huge influxes of traffic. Um, it's not a heap more, it's a little bit more. But so rather than your site going down and you say losing potentially losing customers and all that traffic, um, Bluehost will just scale yours up and then take care of the billing later on. Um, yeah, so this is this is another link to Bluehost to go ahead and get started with a um, with a blog. But I mean, you don't have to start building your blog straight away. You click, get your domain name, get your hosting, and then you're all set. You can start building and take your time. Or if you don't, if you're not quite ready yet, you need a little bit more. Um, you, you know, you know, you need some uh, more help to get started, or you need some more info on what a blog actually is and all that, you can use our step-by-step -step how to start a blog page. So that we walk you through the whole thing, getting a um, blog a website up and running. Started. Also, you can check out the uh, Build and Launch a Blog course that we use to build and launch our blog. It's, um, this is by Create and Go. So this is a full A to Z on starting a blog the right way and building a business out of it. So that's that's important. You don't, um, you know, you sort of, you're in it to win it. You want to build a blog and start making money. So definitely recommend. It's a very small investment for the the value you get here. I think it's about ninety seven dollars US. Even if it was a thousand and ninety seven dollars US, I would still pay for it. It's that valuable. Um, all right. So let's sum it all up. So I know how confusing all this info can get, and it all seems a little bit overwhelming. But you will see just how simple it is as time goes on, and you will also see how unimportant your domain name really is. So to sum it up, here's what we recommend: go self branded. Fairy. Yeah, okay. It is a girl. Okay, Bobby. Um, go self-branded. Use your name. If your name is taken, use your name plus a keyword. Use a .com for your extension. And then you're done. Uh, so more resources to help you in the journey. Free seven-day e-course. How to turn your day job into a six-figure blogging business. Um, yeah, so that's just an e-course that will basically give you off the whole background on what blogging actually is. Um, that's the our step-by-step -step, how to build a blog page again um, we've got a free ebook for you if you um, need a little bit of help of, um, with getting yourself into a, a state of mind that will help you be more successful um, here's an example five successful hobby blogs that make money so these are some huge blogging empires that started out as a simple little hobby blog quite amazing what these five different blogs started out as and what they ended up being um, and if you're stuck for a niche, popular blogging niche ideas that are actually profitable, check out that. That's one of our articles that will um, give you some ideas on some niches. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the content and what you think about the whole um, the whole conversation of a self-branded domain name or using a .com for an extension. I want to know what you think. I uh, also link everything that's on this article in the description plus the article itself.